position. After months of refusing to take a position, Pierre Polyev came out swinging. Now his solution is to bring in a giant job-killing tax on health care, homes, farms, and small businesses. The government plans to tax Canadians and corporations more on the profits of assets like real estate and stocks, known as capital gains. It says this will only affect the richest Canadians and will bring in billions in new revenue. The Conservatives are coming out against fairness. They think a nurse or a plumber should pay tax at a higher rate than a multimillionaire. Canadians are watching. Canadians now see whose side the Conservatives are on. But some doctors and farmers say they're being unfairly dinged, and business groups warn it'll hamper growth. The finance minister is about to impose another job-killing, wage-cutting, price-hiking tax on Canadians, and she wants us to believe the latest fairy tale, that somehow we'll all be better off the if the Prime Minister just raises taxes again. This vote was always going to pass. The Liberals' deal with the NDP gives them a majority. The Bloc Québécois voted for it too. Yes, four, 208, 208, 118, 118. Je déclare la motion adoptée. But the government wanted to force Conservatives to take a position, creating a wedge. Conservatives stand with the wealthy while we stand with the middle class. Wonder why we can't have nice things in Canada anymore? Conservatives put out a video saying more taxes are not the solution. We need to overhaul the system to make taxes low, simple, and fair. Polyev says if he's elected prime minister, he'll create a task force of working people to come up with a plan to lower taxes. Meanwhile, the changes to capital gains are set to take effect on June 25th. Kate McKenna, CBC News, Ottawa.